We're at a place called Cooper Pedy and it's at the northern end of South Australia. Alright, I'm back on the road again. So I have actually been down in Victoria the last five weeks, so since Christmas time. And I was just hanging out with my mates and my family because it was the longest time I've been down there since I left, which was like three years ago. So anyway, back on the road now. Left uh, Mornington Peninsula yesterday morning, bright and early, and we've driven all the way up to Port Augusta. So it was quite a big drive yesterday. I didn't really mean for it to be that long. It was like 14 hours. I always say we because, you know, we go on the adventure together, but I actually do have my best mate Riz jumping in for the first week of this trip so she's going to jump in with me to yeah alice springs section so we'll do all the roo cooper pd all that bit on the way up we were actually going to drive to flinders ranges today but the rain is sort of coming in so we might do that on the way back down before i drop her back at adelaide in a week's time so i think we'll probably head up to cooper pd today not 100 percent sure but yeah i will show you guys what we get up to all right this is riley oh don't <laughs> Right, excuse the absolute mess of the car, but while I was here, I just thought I'd quickly pop in the anytime locker and the throttle controller. The throttle controller is really easy to put in. It's just a plug and play into the accelerator. The locker was a little bit harder just because there's some wires, but I'll show you guys what the throttle controller looks like now. You just click these buttons and you can turn it on to different modes, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're definitely in the outback now. We've just popped up at Rangers View Rest Area. And yeah, there's a few signs to look at. There's a little walk over there. Did you do the walk? Yeah. Not much there, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> so I might read these signs and then we'll get back on the road. just stopped to have a rest the sun just come out it's been raining a fair bit the whole drive we've got about 500 k's of straight road and it's very dead flat we are definitely in the outback now but uh yeah the weather chick in front of me <laughs> said that it's gonna be uh sunny the next few days so that's really nice but it does actually look really cool with all the dark clouds around here just because you can see like yeah the whole bloody area but um yeah we're just gonna keep cruising across and get to cooper Pity. So we decided to just chill out here for a little bit and have a quick mung on some food. But Riley just informed me that it's Kruba Pedi. With a B. I feel like you're lying. Google it. Kruba Pedi instead of Kruba Pedi. Kruba Pedi. So we're going to Kruba Pedi. <laughs> Not Cooper's house. <laughs> Okay, so we actually are about to jump back in the car and drive again. I think Riz is going to drive for a little bit because I did a massive stint of driving yesterday. We ended up driving like 14 hours, which we don't really need to do. We're not really in any sort of rush. So we're kind of taking it a bit slower now and actually enjoying each spot. But I am really stoked that Riz has wanted to jump in for this section of the trip because the crime rate where we're heading at the moment is actually really bad. There's been a few stories the last few weeks which would have made it pretty questionable sort of traveling by yourself. So yeah, it worked out well that Riz has jumped into this bit. And yeah, we're going to keep on heading up now. This will be our last little stop off before we actually hit Cooper PD. But as we've been driving, there's been like proper thunderstorms and we get like a 360 degree view of it, of all the clouds. So it looks so cool. So yeah, I'll show you guys what that looks like now as well. We made it. Woo -woo. We have no idea where we're staying. <laughs> right here. Right here. And it's like, what is the time? Six. It's like six, so we actually don't even know what's open, but we will find something. Oh, we made it. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, 
So for anybody that doesn't know these sort of areas, so I started down here yesterday Mornington Peninsula and then started driving all the way up through here. Picked up Riley and then we stayed at this point here last night which was Port Augusta. And then now we're heading into the central of Australia. I love that you have your cafes set as favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now we're heading into sort of, yeah, central Oz. Middle of nowhere. We've driven into a uh, big four and caught up the lady and then yeah she's just let us stay here and then we'll just pay in the morning which is really nice but um yeah there's not a whole lot to do we've just gone in a little like undercover bit and yeah probably set up camp have some dinner and chill out we're trying to do some maths to see if the rooftop will hit the top of it you do or don't It's not gonna hit, surely. Fuck, that was literally so close. But you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't really look like it's getting any better and I'm bloody freezing so we're actually just gonna have a shower and maybe just jump into bed so we'll reassess in the morning and see you guys then okay so we survived that absolute rainstorm it did not stop we actually got bloody drenched and it come out of nowhere but anyway we are now in the town of Cooper PD and I kind of didn't really explain what this town is so it's like an underground mining town and I think they mine for opals do, do they still even mine for them I don't know if it was like ago. a long time ago or if it's still active or whatever. But we're going to go and have a look at some mines now. So we'll show you guys what they look like. <laughs> oh, mate, that scared the shit out of me. I see why we have to wear helmets. <laughs> <laughs> So I can't even imagine how hot it must have been in here when they're actually living in here as well. And yeah, and working too. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. It actually was really cool to see all of that and just see how things sort of used to run. But now we are heading to the big red rock. So we're going to go to Uluru slash Ayers Rock. And yeah, it's a pretty decent drive and there's sort of not really much on the way there. So yeah, I'll wrap it up here and I'll do all in the next video. So I'll see you guys then.